channel. I had this book sitting on my desk and I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you guys some of the things I've been reading. I don't know how much of readers you are, but I kind of assume that there's some out you, uh, some, some of you out there. Now, historically, I've not been a great reader. Growing up, I read um, like the series of unfortunate events books. I think I read like nine of them and I loved those. I read The Tale of Despero. Um, I read Sherlock for school on The Hound of Baskerville and um, Esperanza Rising. Those are like the books I remember reading and enjoying. Um, but anyway, recently I have gotten a lot better and I found books I really enjoy reading. So one that I haven't been great about reading, but I am going to finish, is um, I've been reading on the Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. And I just think that this is like a really important book to have read, so I'm making myself read it. Um, and it is interesting. It's just a lot of information to take in. So that's taken me a while. Um, another book I have yet to finish, but I think I'm gonna get back to it. The reason I stopped reading this one, this is um, Eager, the Surprising Secret Life of Beavers and Why They Matter um, by Ben Goldfarb. And you guys know, um, well you will have seen once this video is up, my video of illustrating the beaver and I just came out with beaver pins. And I kind of went back to this book to reference some things. Um, I read a decent amount of it previously, but I stopped because a lot of it was really depressing about their history of being hunted and stuff and I just kind of couldn't handle it but I would really like to finish this book I'd like to learn more about the beavers so yeah I, I do think it's an interesting book and just kind of I don't know it's a very very niche book but if you're interested in learning about animals um here is a fiction book that I've been reading and I was first drawn to it by the gorgeous cover artwork by uh, Carson Ellis. It is the first Wildwood book and I wanted this for a while um, and I finally, I found it, not that you can't find it, you can find it at bookstores pretty easily, but I got it at a used bookstore in the town we used to live in in Washington right before we moved. So that was kind of fun. Um, yeah, it's called Wildwood. It's written by Colin Malloy and illustrated by Carson Ellis. I'm almost finished. I've got like two chapters left, I think, and it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. And basically all I'll say is that it kind of has to do with this magical world that is right by Portland, Oregon. And it's a place that people typically can't get into. And there's animals and humans living in this like whole civilization really really interesting right up my alley so yeah i recommend it i'm really really enjoying it so anyway those are books i'm reading but now it's time to get to work i'm going to start by something that feels easy to me which will be making my address stamp so let's get started so this day ended up going a lot differently than I anticipated. Um, I did design my little address stamp, but it didn't end up working out because it couldn't be made by the place I was ordering it through. And everything I filmed that I was doing ended up being more like computer work. And I don't want to bore you guys with that. Um, so just keep watching for more interesting content. <laughs> Hi guys, yes it is another day and yes I am wearing the same dress. It is so hot in here, all I want to do is just wear this dress, so it is what it is. But um, I did manage to finish the things on my list. I did that owl painting. I'm going to have to save it for another video, but I will give you a sneak Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. That's going to be the Patreon print for October, working ahead, which is kind of nice. So anyway, but I will be sharing the painting process video of that on my channel soon. So anyway, um, but I did want to catch up and show you guys some exciting things that came in the mail. 
so yeah so it's been a while since i had um a thank you card to include in my packages and my hair looks crazy um so i designed one using the viewer that you saw in my previous video if you watched that i showed the process of painting her but here it is so it has her on it and she's just saying like a little thank you message so that's exciting those came really happy with them um, and then also the prints of her for my patrons came if you want one you can join my patreon she's the print of the month for September and it's just ten dollars and this month um, I got an advertisement about these acrylic pins through Sticker Mule. It's something new and I just wanted to try it out because people really like pins in my shop and so I wanted to test out these acrylic ones and I think they're pretty cute. I don't know if I'm going to put them in my shop or not. They also do keychains. I might do keychains because they're bigger but um, anyway, kind of fun. Let me show you. So I also, I know it's like I'm going crazy with this beaver, but anyway, so I got samples of her and as you can see, it's just like my painting printed on the back of this acrylic and it's cut out. So yeah, I, I really like how she looks. I think she's pretty cute. So this is a little freebie for my patrons in the 20 or $30 tiers this month. So that's pretty fun. And here's a reality moment for a second. <laughs> so my desk is just a mess. I'm watching Fran. Um, and you can see that I'm using backing cards that were, whoops. They were for Mr. Tibble's pins, but I sold out of those pins and I still have the cards. So I'm just, I'm just slicing off the, <laughs> the part with the name and I'm going to use those to send them to my patrons. put my address on all these envelopes. I thought that I should update you guys on my graphic novel and how it's going and what's going on with that. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm working on a graphic novel and it sounds, I feel like every time I say that, I feel like it's like a lie because I'm not showing it really that much and I did take some time off of it um, when we were moving, but I, <laughs> have written the whole thing and I am working on going through the manuscript and sketching out like basically storyboarding the whole thing um, really roughly and then I'm going to go back in and do the final stuff. So um, let me just kind of give you guys a quick little peek at that. So I've got so far I think it's 49 pages and it's going to be around 200 total. So um, initially when I started this, um, this was like the first page, but I have since edited and added on to the beginning of the story, so now this is in the middle. And what my plan is, is to go ahead and get, I don't know, maybe all of these up until that point. Um, or at least like a big chunk in the beginning finalized so that when I send to publishers um, or agents they can immediately like get an idea for it. So yeah, just kind of mapping out what I want things to look like really loosely, how the pacing is going to go.
so this is a project that my patrons are funding. Um, thankfully, they've given me the time to work on it just by supporting me. So um, I'm trying to give myself, I say this, I haven't, I've yet to do it. I think I did it one day. But starting soon, I am planning on um, setting aside an hour a day and I'm only allowing myself 10 minutes per page just to like really roughly get it out. So hypothetically like six pages sketched a day. I don't know, I have to do the math to see like how many days that means I'll be taking to finish it. Um, maybe like two weeks or something. So yeah, yeah, I was thinking about self-publishing, but I am going to try to resubmit to some not resubmit, but like submit to some new agents and publishers. I think it's, it's been kind of hard because I sent out postcards um, like right before quarantine happened. Um, and so like, I don't even know if those postcards got to anyone that I sent them to. Um, but I think I'm gonna make some emails and ask some advice of other people who've made graphic novels. I have like serious imposter syndrome when it comes to this because I, I didn't really grow up reading graphic novels or comic books or anything like that and I don't know I don't feel like I have like this I don't know like history with them like some people do but I kind of just decided that that was the medium that I wanted to do this story in so um or the format rather so yeah um it's a long process I have people ask me like or say that they're really excited for it to come out which is really nice um, but I still, I have to get like a, an agent or a publisher who wants to work with me and supposedly they get like 10,000, um, submissions a month, some of them. So it's just, it's really challenging and I've had to grow a very thick skin. Um, um, but it's good. So Anyway, gonna kind of try to get back in the saddle again. The last time I submitted it to someone was actually about like a year ago, um, like when I officially was like submitting it. And I've made a lot of changes to the manuscript. Um, and it's just a matter of finding someone who is interested in what I'm wanting the graphic novel to be, I guess. Um, and it is a little bit unusual, so basically, it's animal characters, um, but it's not like a book for small children. I mean, there's nothing like wrong or dark about it really. It's just not intended for like early readers. And I, I don't know, I have worked at kind of expanding the plot and details and things like that so that hopefully it just gets my vision across more. And when I submit it to an agent or a publisher, they understand um, the market that there is for it, um, or, or who the market is, who my target audience is. So, yeah, that's my update. Um, if you would like to support this project, you can go to the Patreon link below, and even when someone joins for a dollar, I'm just, like, I'm holding this, I'm playing with it. Um, even when someone supports for a dollar, it really helps me, um, a lot. And it means a lot too. So, I mean, and you get stuff like, I didn't intend to start talking about Patreon, but here we are. You get shop discount and behind the scenes and I share more like of my graphic novel there sometimes. And you also get to weigh in on ideas for my shop. So anyway, yeah, um, that's, that's the update on that. I am really excited. Um, if you've seen my characters, Lucy the Possum, Rupert the Raccoon, or Quinn McAllister the Rat, those are all from my graphic novel. So anyway, if you're a patron, thank you so much. And thank you for watching my YouTube channel because it's just really nice of you to share my art process with you guys and I hope you enjoy it. I hope that, I don't know, I can be inspiring or helpful. Um, it feels pretentious to say I hope I can be inspiring, but you guys know what I mean. So anyway, I just, I hope that this is valuable to you. Um, and I am going to be doing a Q&A video. I have some questions lined up, so that should be my next video. If it's not the next one, it'll be the one that goes up before this. I don't know what order I'm going to post these in. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, I'll see you next time.
bye